What's up everybody? I'm your astrology guy. And in this video, I'm gonna break down the elements in astrology and the levels of development. So that way when you're looking into your own chart with your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign, you'll understand how each sign is wired. So that way you can implement that information to understanding yourself and like we talked about before, unlocking that power to your personal potential and fulfillment and unlocking the power to have successful relationships and finding love, which is like the ultimate goal. Loving yourself, loving somebody else, just getting some love. So there's earth, air, fire, and water. Let's break down each element and what their kind of job is. So let's just take earth for the first element. Earth is basically just like the element, practical, grounded. It's about material things. Earth signs love work. They love to work because they love money. So they understand that in this practical world, you have to have money in order to make things work. All right, air signs. They're the signs of intellect and communication. So they're kind of just like the element air, constantly moving, constantly changing, okay? So when you're an air sign, you're all about weighing both sides of things, seeing all perspectives, challenging thoughts, interested in just learning information. They're great teachers and they're also great learners because they're very excited about information. The third element, water. These are the really emotional signs. So they basically perceive the world through their emotions. Fire signs, the signs of physical action. It's just like the element. It moves, it moves fast, it can be dangerous, it can be out of control, it's difficult to contain, but then it's also very exciting and it's also very powerful, okay? So those are the four elements, earth, air, water, and fire. And then with each element, you have a baby version, a teenage version, and an adult version, okay? So with the earth signs, the practical signs, remember, the baby version is Taurus, the teenage version is Virgo, and the adult version is Capricorn, okay? In later videos, I'll explain in detail what that means for each sign, but as of right now, you just have to remember baby, Taurus, teenage, Virgo, adult Capricorn. All right, with the air signs, the baby version is Gemini, teenage version is Libra, and adult version is Aquarius. With the water signs, baby version is Cancer, teenage version is Scorpio, adult version is Pisces. With the fire signs, baby version is Aries, teenage version is Leo, an adult version of Sagittarius. So remember, with your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign, each of those signs is going to have a place on that list of development. Baby, teenager, adult, and then it's also going to have personality traits based on the element, whether it's fire, air, water, or earth. So understanding those ideas is going to help you understand your chart, understand someone else, and unlock that key to your personal power and fulfillment. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't, you can go to the comment section and you can slut chain me. Thanks for watching.